Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplying by 10 or 100. This is standard 4.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Miss Gonzalez, and she is packing 45 boxes with limes, and each box holds 100 limes. So how many limes can Miss Gonzalez pack into these boxes? Well, if we wanted to draw a part part hole to kind of figure that out, it would be a little bit nuts. So we would have our total up at the top here. And we already know how many parts we have. We've got 45. So if we were just to draw, and let's just pretend it's 45. I'm not going to count all that. That would take way too long. And what we need to do is we need to know that there are 100 limes in every single one of these. So we can either use repeated addition, 100 plus 100 plus 145 times. The easier way to do that would be that 45 times 100. Well, even if we set it up like this, 100 times 45, 3 by 2 is not necessarily something we learn in the fourth grade. That's a fifth grade concept. So how could we figure this out without doing a 3 by 2 multiplication? Well, let's go back to the title of this video. Multiplying by 10 or 100. There is a pattern that I want you to see. We'll start with multiplying by 10. So... Let me just start with a few basics here. So 3 times 10, we know that. That's 30. Now let's try a 10 times 10. That's going to be 100. Um, and then let's get into something that's like a little bit bigger, 15 times 10. So if we did 15 times 10, that's a 2 by 2 multiplication we know. We had zeros on the first row, 15 on the second row. So look what I've got. I've got 150. And so hopefully we're noticing this pattern here of when we multiply anything by 10, what you do is you take your first factor and you simply add a 0 because that 0 comes from the 10. So 30 times 10 is 3 with the 10. 3 times 10 is 3 with the 10. 10 times 10 is 10 with the 10 or 100. 15 times 10 is 15 with that extra zero, that extra tens place. So we, what we have here is we've got the first factor and then you simply add a zero. Let's see if that holds up. So let's just do a random like 76 times 10. Well, let's do 76 times 10. That's going to be zeros here. And then second row is 76. All right. So Look at that, 76 times 10 is 76 with an extra zero. Now, how does this help us with our problem? Well, when we multiply by 10, a similar pattern comes up when we multiply by 100. That's going to help us with our 45 times 100. So let's do 2 times 100. Now that's going to give us 200. That's a basic fact we know. So look what we have here. We've got 2. And instead of ask, just adding one ten or one zero, we're going to add two zeros because our 100 has two zeros. Like our 10 has one zero, our 100 has two zeros, so we're going to add two zeros. So if we were to do 9 times 100, well, we know that's 900. Look what that is. That's 9 with two zeros. So if we were to do 10 100s, let's skip count by 100s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, which is also a thousand. So we've got a thousand right there. And look what we've got. We've got our 10 with two zeros. So that similar pattern emerges. So if we want to do 45 times 100, guess what we do? We do 45 with two extra zeros. And finding this pattern is really helpful. And so our answer here is going to be J, 4,500. 